There it is. See? Wasn't kidding. <laughs> it's a full moon. No, it's not. It's close enough. <laughs> My script says full moon. So I was, I was lied full. to. I was lied to. 98% well, full. Where's is full. the halo that everyone on Twitter is going crazy oh, about? I know. They really have. So, what you have are these high cirrus clouds, which are made of ice particles, and they bend the light and they cause a halo. So, it's really cool. It's kind of hard to show up. In a photograph that we have. So I'm just telling you, we do have some halos out there. Here is a look at what's happening. The weather is fabulous over much of the country. The problem in the Pacific Northwest, that's where you've got an upper level low, and it's causing strong winds over 50 miles per hour. We've got the rain along the coast, inland, we've got the snow all kinds of advisories. And then we can go south. This is where we have Sandra. Sandra is a hurricane. And it is over time going to move to the north into Mexico, diminishing. But some of that moisture will move northward and into Texas and into the plains. We're going to see this moisture by Saturday. Meanwhile, we can zoom into southeast Louisiana. Just some high and mid-level clouds. That's what's causing the halo. You see this green outline. That's where we have a coastal flood. Advisory. It's in effect for Wednesday into Thursday, could be extended into the weekend. So, what we have are these strong east winds developing at 20 to 25 knots, small craft advisories for well offshore tonight and then inland and along the coast for tomorrow. But what happens is that this water is pushed on shore, so the tides will run above normal. For Hancock County in particular, in those low areas, you could see two to four inches of water on the roadways. All right, here. Here's the big picture of what's going to happen. You can see all of the watches and warnings to the north. What we're doing is looking at Wednesday. Look at how this moisture begins to move northward into the plains. So be aware your rain chances are going to go up. Then the cold air moves to the south. It's going to transition to snow and freezing rain. Meanwhile, in Texas, your rain chances are going up also into the mid Mississippi Valley. We can look at our forecast model. It's looking pretty good. High pressure to the east and onshore flow. You're going to notice the humidity level going up. Isolated shower, cool in the morning, then those high temperatures in the low 70s. As you go into Thanksgiving Day, I think the weather cooperates, often on clouds, highs in the mid 70s, with maybe an isolated sprinkle. The problem is going to come into Friday to our west. Look at this mixture of ice and then heavy rain, so be aware of that Friday in Texas. But our weather will be pretty great. So for Thanksgiving, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, 9 o'clock, 68 degrees. 1054 is when the 610 stompers are going to be on. Be sure to watch. You got the National Dog Show at noon, 73 degrees for your afternoon walk in the mid 70s. And for the Bayou Classic, mid 70s and then upper 70s for the game. So it was cold this morning in the mid 30s. Won't be as cold tomorrow. Gorgeous sky from Old Araby. Jennifer sent this in. Here is a look at that moon that is almost full. Full tomorrow at 444. Right now it's 98% full. And celebration in the Oaks. The lights are on. Isn't that beautiful at City Park? So we can check out that exact cast. And there you can see in the afternoon about 71 degrees with a chilly start. Thanksgiving, slight rain chance. Friday, slight rain chance. We're warming up to the upper 70s. Over the weekend, we're still in the 70s. Cold front moves our way Monday, Tuesday. Maybe temperatures begin to drop Tuesday, but certainly by Wednesday. All right.